Alright. Alright, let's get back to the game. So, the plan for today... Um, or the plan for now, at least. Maybe not for the maybe not for the entire day. Is to do some more. Excuse me. Is to do some um, some main quests because I've been chasing down uh, side quests for a while now. So now now I just want to go back and uh, do some progress the main quest a little bit in case there are some important. Uh, unlocks hidden behind it, right? Like what I'm guilty of in many games like this that have like a little bit more open structure where you can ignore the main quest for a, for a long time is that I ignore the main quest for a long time and then I end up missing like uh, a lot of important upgrades and end up struggling unnecessarily with, with stuff, right? Um, so these days I try to make sure I progress the main quest at least a little bit before progressing any further. I think I missed some pickup here apparently according to the map. I cannot see it anywhere. Where is it? Ah, there, okay. Should be somewhere here. There it is. A barrel. <laughs> It's so nice for the game to actually mark it on, on the map if you miss it. I'm not sure like how how the game discovers it, like do I have to have it in my field of view or something, but well, it's nice anyway. Okay, driving this horse is can be a little bit tough sometimes in like a tight spots like that, like the one over there. And yeah, I want to go back now to the town and do the find the conspirators quest. Where are you going? Who taught you to drive? Where is Servant? Where could he have gone? We didn't miss any pickups here, which is nice. Or actually, maybe before that, I want to check something because I think there's like an easy, easy chest to pick up here. Yep. Although there was, there wasn't any, really anything in it, <laughs> or like a nice big chest like that it was pretty lame. The contents of it, at least. Okay, so we are out of here. And back on track. You have no idea what we've been through. No right. Um, let's get back on the main quest. Let me track it real quick. Conspirator's house. That's what we want. You stay where you are. The way is open to Knights of the Guard only. Councillor Monchier sent me. Are you in charge of the guards? The guard's job is to catch pickpockets and keep the road clear of loiterers. I am a Knight of the Royal Guard. A search is underway. We received word that some traitors are holed up here. The same villains who conspired to attack the Batil Gates. No one was found in the house or yard. I'm waiting on one more squad to report. They went to investigate the cellar. Strangely, I've had no word from them for quite a while. Escort me to this bottomless cellar of yours at once. Well, since the King's Counselor sent you, you may pass. My orders from the Legate of the Royal Guard, Horus, are to stay here. Well, it's nice to be on the King's orders, isn't it? We can just go wherever you please, as long as it's in the king's name. All right, let's have a quick look here. Okay, so I think these games have some issues with performance sometimes. Like sometimes it's crisp, 60 FPS, no problem. Sometimes it's a little bit choppy like that. I guess this is just a 
um, the optimization of the game. So I'm not sure if there's much I can do about it, except lowering the details all the way down, which probably gonna make the game look a bit, a bit worse, right? So I'll try to avoid that uh, for as much as I can, at least. Okay, down to the secret cellar. Because okay, even. Uh, even in a closed down environment like this, it kind of feels a little bit choppy sometimes. I guess there's not much we can do about this. Quite an interesting cellar. Yeah. That's a <laughs> very interesting cellar indeed. Especially in a guard's mm -hmm. house. Oh wow, okay. That's not a cellar. It's like a underground church of darkness or something. I, the great King Maximus, in the eighth year of accession, ac accession so the ancient underground holes in Frostguard mined out by Cyclops and ordered the most talented dwarven builders to excavate even more spacious and beautiful holes. This tablet is hewn hewn for those who will follow so that they may know how Maximus's massive underground chamber was created for the greater glory of the people's crown. Maximus's massive underground chamber, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, someone was a megalomaniac, that's for sure. That's for sure. Try moving the camera a little bit. That's a little bit too low. This is perfect, but let's see if we can maybe keep this up or maybe too much. Ah, let's maybe keep it like that. Let's keep it like that for now. Alright. Um... Oh, okay. Well, I know there's somebody there. But this bridge does not look like uh, <laughs> it's gonna hold. I'm having a bad feeling about that one. Okay, so we probably need to find something like this and put it on the other... On the other side to open the open that door. I, the Great King Maximus, in the eighth year of accession after the conquest of Kai Etern, led a victorious campaign into the lands of Frostguard. In a bloody battle, I suppressed the rebellious dwarves and took over Jarnhol. The mountain folks surrendered to the Nostrian crown. This table is held in memory of those glorious battles and the men who laid down their lives for the great and glory of the people's crown. Right, so we are basically like in a in a in a history museum of the of the previous king. Or some such. I've got oh. a key. Now I just need to find the door it fits. Okay, never mind. We can just open this gate from this side. And we got a key f for some other place. Orphan, my simpleton of a sister. I learned from an ancient paper that three centuries ago when Maximus was king, he had a vast underground dungeon excavated. The place even had a fancy name. Maximus Massive Underground Chamber. It's a mass it's a it is a fancy name. MMUC. They spent a great sum of money on it. They even brought captive dwarves over from the continent. What do you think was the result? As generally happens with kings, the project simply fizzled out. It was never finished when Maximus alive, and when his good-for-nothing son 
Helmut ascended to the throne, the dwarves rebelled, some chambers collapsed and the rest was bricked up and forgotten. However, I found out that a large part of the real chambers are likely still intact. Besides, one needed to sneak into the palace to get there, it can be accessed from the market square. My trusted men will purchase the house we need, and I trust you with the rest. Wouldn't it be a swell joke to hold our meetings right under His Majesty's rump? Sincerely, Brother Serpent. Alright, so I'm guessing, yeah, some conspirators are here indeed. So we got a key, we just need to find a door that it opens. Order by King Command. Or Commod. Son of the Great Maximus. The construction of the massive underground chamber is halted. Our dwarven captives cause a collapse, killing themselves and many others. We were unable to find equally skilled Nostrian masons and Archmage Navedis claimed that further excavation will lead to the collapse of the palace. Therefore I, King Komod, just as great and wise, order construction to be halted and the tunnels filled with stone. I hereby leave this tablet for the edification of my descendants. Trust not the non humans. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So that's year 35 of the Epoch of Prosperity. It's like 150 years, I guess, in the past or something. I guess, I think we are like in 190 or something. In the Age of Prosperity, that's about to end, I imagine, with the blight and all the bad stuff happening, so we have a chance to shine as the Chosen One. Okay, I'm guessing maybe this is the door I can open with the key. Cozy study. I like it. Maybe not. Alexander, summon you in the name of Arek, by the power of eight divisions and the seven seals of wisdom I command. And in small print below, a scroll of summoning for the disciples, third canon, return to the library. Okay. Xander's mystery, another quest. No more scrolls. My good brother Serpent, I continue from my last missive. The seer at the cathedral spoke of the blight and the savior. And who might the savior be? To whom did the seer point? Guess, I'll offer you a few options, each equal in their own right. It could be some soldier who, not long ago, was cutting the throats of rebellious peasants. Or a feeble girl with a head full of romantic drivel. Or maybe it's a crafty noblewoman with a burning gaze? Well, that's a riddle for you to solve in your own time, brother. Hehehe. <laughs> it's true what they say. Logi takes the minds of those he wishes to punish. Funnily enough, the elves' words didn't achieve their intended effect. The person he pointed out was immediately arrested by the palace guard. He was truly brother Thunder. Okay. Some conspiracy going on here indeed. Okay, we got a bunch of scrolls here. We got another quest. We got quite a few of those already here. Xander's Mystery. Talk to the Librarian at the Mage's Tower. Ooh, progress that one. Alright, I have a feeling that this is gonna collapse on me, but uh, I guess we have no choice but to just go forward. Ah, ah there we go. Let's go take a look around. What are you fiddling with? This cursed thing won't open. Just press harder. Not much. Papers. No. Ah! Come on. Come here, you bony bastard. Ooh, whoopsie. Alright, straight off the bat, we have some skeletons to fight. I like that a lot. Actually, going straight into the battle is what we want, after all. That's the best part of the game. Alright, um, I think about, the, about the, the, the lighting on my face, but I guess it's, it's okay-ish for now. 
Let's see how the how the weather changes. All right. Um, yeah, this is some easy stuff as expected because I was meant to be here a little bit earlier. So you probably don't have to worry about this too much. And our spirits of light and clerics are going to be having fun here. Now, um, right, let's see some skeletons there, skeletons there, giant skeleton, which I'm guessing is the leader here. Yep. 500 health, so quite a lot, but the damage is manageable, I suppose. Um, let's see what abilities they have. Defense, they're so just getting more armor. And other than that, probably the Chieftain. When in combat, grants plus one to all allied anarchy idea units. Okay, so probably we'll try to kill them as much as fast as we can. They are all vulnerable to fire, which is great for us. I'm probably gonna send my Spirits of Light right in front of the giant skeleton to keep to keep him where he is. And then my other units can probably... My other units can um, deal, with the, deal with everybody else. Alright, I think this should be fine. My eagles can go wherever they want. Uh, my healers and heavy crossbowmen should be as safe as possible. Heavy crossbowmen are very tanky actually, so they can absorb some hits, which is fine. Alright. This should be good. Okay, um, I'm probably want to... Let's see, I think as an undead, they are probably... Um, well, they don't seem to be... They don't seem to be... Immune to weakness, which is something I want to cast here, uh, probably because I think like maybe it's gonna be better than just straight up um, a nuke to make sure that my spirits of light can actually survive for a long time. I'm gonna target those three. Yep, that seems to be the case. Alright, as for the as for the eagles, so it'll be tempting to use the the flame flame jump here, but the problem is then they would have to tank all of this and probably they cannot. Yeah, they definitely cannot, right? So we'll probably just use it here. Okay. Now question, does it actually hurt allies? All units in the Edison Hexes, okay. Does actually affect my units too. I guess it's a. Oh, it does. Huh. Okay. It actually does. So that complicates things a little bit. Hmm. Maybe I just don't want to use it uh, yet, right? Maybe just attack normally here. Because there are no archers here. So the eagles will be safe here. The problem is then that the bears won't be able to attack. So maybe I can just attack the zombies there. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. In this way... Um, although the eagles don't deal a whole lot of damage there to be honest and they take quite a lot in response so maybe i'll just gonna defend there and let them attack me um first and with the spirits of light we definitely want to move here first and then attack with the uh, with our ability and we want to deal with the the giant skeleton as soon as possible That's nice. 
Right, so the skeletons are not gonna take much damage from the bowmen, so we, we may as well just focus on the zombies. Now for the healers, I'm probably gonna wait and see like how much damage I'm gonna take from everything. To make sure I can heal as necessary. Nice, the Spirits of Light are doing a lot of work there. Oh no, okay, that additional turn may actually cost me the Spirit of Light there. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was unfortunate. Okay, so I guess the, because there's 90 damage and they don't have that much life left. That, that much life left for sure, right? But maybe, they have 263 life. So maybe there is a chance they can actually survive this. Okay. Okay, let's see now. Nice, we actually survived. Okay, that's perfect. Barely, but we did it. But that was only thanks to thanks to the fact that we actually casted weakness weakness at the beginning of the fight. And they dealt minimum damage. So weakness is actually super good in this game because it also nullifies the crits pretty much. Right? Because it lowers the damage to minimum, which means the crits... Because the crits always deal like 150% of maximum damage. So if the maximum damage is the minimum damage, the crits are, are a lot less effective. A lot less spiky, right? Okay, so I effectively wasted the turn with the eagles. But now I'm in a very good spot to actually attack there with the, with the flame dash. That being said, out. Hmm. How fast are those guys? They're not very fast. And they cannot go any faster, so I could just block them with Spirits of Light, but problem is that this would cause um, the opportunity attack moving through the control zone and when it comes to spells I definitely want to heal this spirits of light because they'll be expensive to, to rest after the combat and we want to keep them there so they can tank so considering that a lot of the zombies died I think now it's safe to actually attack them here with the eagles Yeah, that should be fine. And there's only two left now. Alright. Okay, the spirits are poisoned, but we can remove that easily. Um, we could attack here. Not sure if I can afford to do. So, I'll be able to heal them though. So that should be fine. Maybe we should deal uh, with the others first. That might not be the um, the worst idea because I will be able to heal, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to heal enough so that they actually survive. The counter attack here, and then another attack, right? So I might want to deal with the others first, actually. I think not the zombies though because we don't want the skeleton to go after my eagle. So let's deal with the skeletons first. Let's remove the poison. Right. Um, now... Yeah, actually... So can the eagles survive? The attack from this guy probably they can because they are still they should still be weakened so 90 damage should be perfectly survivable there so 
we can actually focus uh, more on the zombies there. All right, and one of them survived, which is actually very good for me. And with the clerics, we probably want to heal the spirits of light even more. The bears are doing great, or the, or the bear is doing great on, on his own. Um, yeah, now it's the burst turn. So there's not much you can do there. I guess we can wait for now and see what we can do. Nice, we're doing a lot more damage to them than they are dealing to us. Yeah, there's not much we can do, we can just run there, I suppose. Alright, and this should be an easy win now. Kill the zombies. And kill the giant skeleton. And nice easy win, but yeah, that was a very, a very easy enemy to, to begin with. Alright. And wow, we even got some got some more items. Like a healer's healer's belt, which I think we already we already bought, but let's check it out. Cool. Hmm. Well, we have Warrior's Belt, which is armor and health plus two, and the Healer's Belt is, I think, exactly the same. Yep, yeah, at least resistance and health plus two. I think we prefer armor for now. There's a lot more units dealing physical damage at the moment, so that's what we are gonna stick with, right? Right, let me save the game real quick. Alright. Now we are in a big hole. Probably not much not much in it. I think I need to reduce the sensitivity on the on the camera. It's gonna be can be really confusing sometimes. Uh controls. Dynamic battle camera camera. Uh, control settings, more consistency world, actually, reduce it. All right, that should be a bit a bit more manageable. Oh, that was that was nicely hidden. I almost didn't see it there. Love of my life, I'm so excited, the cool gallops across the paper like a horse run wild. I passed the initiation, I am an adept of unity now. I'm on my way to immortality and eternal youth. Okay... It's also sort of cult of the undead or... Immortality or whatever. Perfect secret lair. I wish I had one like it myself. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, might be a bit, might be a bit uh, dumping here, you know. Dear brother Gloom, the problem that Crazy Old Elf arranged for us has been released from prison by decree of the Pain in the Neck Prince. This problem must be solved at all costs. Well, I guess they're talking about us. Herald from the Royal Guard has provided us with guardsmen's uniforms and the password for battle gates. To my shame, I decided to conserve resources and send some workday thugs to the Adit. I understand this was a mistake. Now, I beg of you, O oh wise gloom. <laughs> Gather your best assassins and most trusted adepts and head for the pass. Everyone there must be silenced except for you, of course. Burn this note. For our great work to succeed, we must destroy all obstacles that arise in our path. May the void protect you. Truly your serpent. Well... Serpent, my ingenious brother. Jesus, this guy is popular. He's getting like, so many letters from everybody. Tough as simpleton I may be, I followed your directions to the letter. We restricted our rock-breaking activities to the noisiest market days. We came across gaps in the stone floor almost at once and were able to dump our rubble into these natural wells. 
we hired poor peasants for the dirty work but paid them generously, mainly to keep their mouths shut. The contracts were strictly verbal in nature, so there is no way for us to be tracked. When the digging was done, we transmuted them, dragon style, into Walking Dead. Oh, Now they are guarding our dungeons. Alright, Maximus' underground chamber is magnificent beyond description. I'm sure you will want to see it for yourself. That is if you can find the time, my busy brother. Yours, Orphan. Why would they pay them generously, only to kill them afterwards? That makes no sense. Right? If they were planning to kill them anyways, then why pay them to begin with? Okay, I guess we can go there. So the only way here left for us is to go here. Um, or I guess that's it. Yeah, I can't really go anywhere else. Okay, fair enough. Unless I'm missing something. Not really. Right? Like, I cannot go there. There's nowhere else to go. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go, really. Alright, I guess that's as far as we can go here. Oh yeah, they even tell me exit the conspirator's house. Fair enough. I guess we found everything we needed to find here. Finish searching the house. You, gather your company and pursue to Nebras. Quickly now, before he escapes. I go at once, Your Grace. We'll crush that bastard. Who's the Nebras? And you, guard. Did you not hear my order? I did, dear Horus. But I don't serve you. Oh no. To Nebras. How are you here? What crooked business is this? Answer me now. Later, my friend, please. We are not alone. Uh-oh. So, your Horus, your timing is excellent. The guard was busy looking for suspects. Most of all, I needed this one. Tenebros, leader of the Dark Adepts, at your service. Oh, okay, there's... That's... <laughs> Stop playing the fool, Tenebros. Who paid you off? The Adepts did not sanction your assassination, nor accept any contracts in your name. Yes, we followed you, but to kill you? What for? I assure you, if the Adepts desired your demise, we would never have wasted our energy on such a dubious scheme. Is that your word for it? Scheme? Your assassins slaughtered everyone at the Batil Gates! Not just my assassins. They were brought through to the caves by people in guard uniforms. New uniforms, delivered to guard headquarters only the day before. They entered posing as an escort, and they knew the password. The password entrusted to you and your knights, Horus, and no one else. Enough! If you knew all that, why didn't you intervene? Because this time, dear Horus, you are not the only one who was deceived. By the darkness, if our spies knew what was going on. You just weren't paid enough. Hmm. Cordon off the area! Leave no stone unturned. Any evidence you discover must be sent to me immediately. You found a thing or two in the basement, yes? If you want to uncover the person behind the assassination attempt, it would be prudent to pass this evidence over to us. Okay, so I guess they are not bad. Or they are not like the ev evil cult of darkness that I have to destroy. Instead, they are some sort of... Like... I don't know, Assassin's League that it's kind of sanctioned or whatever that's legal. I, I don't know. It's what? 
<laughs> okay. Okay, so here we have another example of getting order versus anarchy. I just wish there was a little bit more of the other, right? Like a little bit more of finesse, a little bit more of... Um, power, I guess, as well. Like if I was a warrior, I'd probably also want some more power, right? But anyways, we will follow the order path since we already decided uh, to go that way instead of the, the anarchy. What do you think of the note? Is this Farad person one of yours? I certainly do know this jackal. He's a stain on the honor of the guard. Just this morning, I gave him leave to attend to some family matters. He was supposed to be traveling to Castle Irock. As soon as we're done here, I'll go after the miscreant and commit him to trial. I'm afraid he's not the only miscreant in your ranks. I'll deal with this Farad of yours myself. Yes. What you're saying is reasonable. I'll write a warrant for the arrest of Farad. Act in my name, please. But I must warn you, many of the Knights of Castle Irock swore allegiance to Farad, and not the Crown. Be prepared for a melee. Alright. Okay, wow. That was two order points. Alright, yeah, I really wish I could get, get like, quests like this for, uh, for Finesse. Like, I'm still stuck at four Finesse, right? Like, it didn't, I didn't get a single point yet since starting the game. And I really wish I had eight, so I could finally buy the bookworm, right? Um, uh, what can you do? What can you do? Instead, we already actually have more order than finesse, right? Even though I'm playing a finesse class and not an order class. But, alright, what can you do? Um, talk to the refugee leader. Enemies among men, a corrupt guard. Where is that? Uh, yep, that's there, which is where I want to go eventually. Uh, other than that, we can go now to the, um, to, the, to the next main quest that I wanted to continue on today and talk to the refugee no leader. What we've been through. No entry. Order of the Royal Percy. Counselor. But why? All I want is to buy food. No entry for your kind. Okay. Let's -a go. Right. How's the um, how's the performance right now? It's not too bad, I suppose. Okay, I guess the, the leader is somewhere here. Yep. It's you, right? Eight years. Trolls utters eight long years. What are you talking about? Yeah. Eight years I've spent fine-tuning Nostria's champion battle golems. Eight years, I say. Before Montpetri, I used to work at the Illyrian Mage Factory. Everybody knew Master Harvey could build a golem with his eyes closed. And now I, a master craftsman, mind you, have been rejected by Jacket's crew. I'm forbidden to work with their primitive clay monstrosities. The disaster made them doubt our craftsmanship. This Aww. is indeed the time of the serpent. The hour of venom and whip. Wait, you are not the, the leader? Or maybe this guy. Norman. Did you come from the capital? Ah, Finally, okay, there we go. You thought of us. Creator be praised. Have you brought food? I didn't think I'd find someone smarter than a dog or a knight of the guard in here. Are you in charge? I'm Norman, a worker from the Foundry. I, I'm in charge here, after a fashion. Great. Then tell me what happened at the Mage Factory. Keep it brief, clear, and on point. What's this? Another interrogation? I'm not telling you anything. If you refuse to listen to me, you can go to hell. If I wanted to Aren't interrogate you, nice? you, I'd go about it in quite a different manner, I promise. Speak while I'm still in a good mood. Forget it. Look at us. Just yesterday, the people I brought here were the Mage Factory's finest artisans. And now everyone's avoiding them like a contagious disease. They've been left to starve outside the city walls. There's an official decree against letting them in. There's no way to get through to you, is there, you bastards? And since we're getting nothing from you except beatings, you'll get nothing from us either. Fair enough. All secrets have a price. What's yours, gold? Listen. 
I am not a proud man, but I am troubled by this rank injustice. Help our camp. Please, talk to Mercia over there. She knows what to do, but she's having a hard time handling it all on her own. Help my people, and I'll help you. I'll tell you all I know. Okay, that's a fair exchange. Wait, let me actually try to... Closing the curtains and see if this is... Because I think it's getting too bright. Alright, now should be just fine. Yep, a lot better. A lot better, I think. Yep, okay. Let us continue. Let us continue. Okay, we need to talk to Marcia. What is it, Goof? Didn't you get any bread? Yes? How can I help? For starters, tell me how you're going to feed your unexpected guests. I've heard you have some ideas on the subject. My brother has a farm over in Rickville. His name's Garrick. He's a proper farmer, hardworking and thrifty. He could help us. I can't make the journey on my own. I'm afraid to travel on the highway. There are bandits everywhere, both around here and over at the old outpost. I can see that murderous brigands don't frighten you. Give a message to my brother. That's all I ask. That's all? There must be a catch. Wait. Why go so far out of your way? I have a better idea. Well, well. Cough it up then. <laughs> Perhaps I'll like your idea better. <laughs> Another choice. Here, we came to an understanding with a well-respected countryman. His name is Bludgeon. He promised to get us food some days ago. But Bludgeon has yet to send anything, despite living right at the bottom of the hill. If you could have a word with him and find out what's taking so long, I'll reward you. I'll find something, I promise. What does that mean, Goof? Do you know who he is, at least? Sure I do. He's a very respectable fella. The whole of Floster Road belongs to him. That man is a brigand, a thief, and a murderer. I mean, his name is Bludgeon. Father and never gave him back. How but could you even be on us? speaking terms with someone like that? What do you suggest? That we sit here and quietly wait for death? There's not to eat, and nobody gives a damn about Yeah, it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna trust a bludgeon guy. <laughs> not sure about that. Okay. Yep. Okay, come to agreement with bludgeon, which is anarchy, and then come to agreement with, Cla with Garrick, which is order again. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we are showered with the order points. Right? All the time, but we are not really getting much of the other points, which is a little bit, a little bit annoying. <laughs> uh, but well, what can we do? So I guess if you're playing Paladin, it's it's the you have an easy time. Um. All right. Come to agreement with. Uh, Garrick. Where is Garrick? Um, where is Garrick? Ah, all the way over there, okay. So we still have to go through that battle, which I'm not sure I can right now. So I'll probably have to go back to doing some side quests, or at least I want to see if I can travel through here. Um, avoid this battle maybe, because I don't think I can still do it. Let, let me revisit it and see, but I think it may, might be still a bit too tough. Alright, let's... Let's have a look real quick, and then if not, we will just go around, I suppose. But I'm pretty sure this is still a bit too much. Yeah. I mean, looking at the damage... 
Like, this is quite a lot. Not to mention the eagles are gonna obliterate my, my backline. So I think I will, I'll pass up on this battle and try to go around and see if there are any more, any easier like fights I can, I can do first to power up and then come back here when I'm a bit stronger. That is basically how you do the no loss run, right? You kind of have to choose your battles, try to power up as much as possible before engaging like difficult, difficult fights. Where is Servan? Where can you... Where are you going? I could also use the wave, wave firing scrolls, of course, but obviously I want to save them for you know, you um, for the the most toughest fights or like. For whenever I run out of other options, it's usually it's usually how I do this. How I do this. And we can go down down here, right? Yes, we can. Wait, have I gone up there? I think I did, right? Yeah, there's nothing to see here. I don't think about it. I don't think I went up, up in, on that hill, on that hill over there, right there, right? I don't think I went there yet. Let me have a quick peek. Uh, what's up there? Unless this is just a way to the to that village that I was in before. Okay, that's what it is. Never mind then. Never mind. Let's go back. And let's use the lift. I'm curious what's down there and also see if I can actually bypass the bandits uh, using the lift. What can you do? I know Siegecraft. I've served both as a foot soldier and an infantry. Right, let's see. Let's enjoy the view as well. Pretty damn good view. Uh, my sweetie, my sweet prince. This morning we passed by Castle Irock, and I thought I could see you in the courtyard beyond the gates. I was so delighted, my heart paused in beating. Yada yada yada. Father went by the high road while I asked to make a detour to the lumberjack village to sell some of our fresh cabbage. I'm ashamed to say I lied to my father. In reality, I followed a different road to leave this letter for you. You're poor fooly. Well, yeah, um, I'm not sure about your chances, fooly. Might not be too high considering you're you're trying to get together for prints. Alright, um that aside, let's see what we have here, if we can find any loot. Yes, we probably don't wanna or maybe we can actually follow down there and see what's there. Or can we? <laughs> Because there's no jumping in this game, so yeah, we cannot. Never mind. Never mind, we cannot go there. So let's see what's here. Uh, we can take a small detour here. There's some stuff to pick up. But nothing to write home about. And... Some more stuff to pick up here. Ooh, and we are... Wait a second. Um, hello, Mr. Griffin. How tough are you? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, not too tough. A bit healthy, but not that much damage. We have two bears and some wolves. Okay, this should be beatable, I think. The griffins are obviously gonna deal some damage. Okay, the griffins are also have enraged, so we want to kill them quickly. They can counterattack all they want, and they have uh, a fire vulnerability. 
So we're definitely going to be using our fire spell on them. And we need to nuke them down ASAP because they can actually um, attack my uh, weak units. And the wolves and bears we know very well. All right, let's try this. I think this should be doable. Although I'm not sure about the army composition here. Uh, I mean, this should be okay, because actually I want to use Heavy Crossbowmen to pin them down as much as possible. How much initiative do the, do the Griffins have? Five. Okay, so we still go first, thanks to my Flaming Eagles with six. Which means I'm going to be keeping the Flaming Eagles probably for a long time because of the initiative uh, alone. Wookie doke! Right, um, and the battlefield is actually quite big, which is a little bit bad for us, because that means that we cannot really keep our backline too safe, because we cannot really hide them very well. We'll try anyways. Mm, well, the eagles, the griffins actually are not that fast. Right? Because this is quite a big battlefield. So this is actually good for us. Now, where do I want my Spirits of Light? I mean, probably here, right? Should be fine where they are. Okay, let's stick to this formation for now. And for our spells... So we could... Wait, do we have slow... I actually forgot. We have Torpor, right? Which is slow. Okay. So we could use Torpor here and slow them down. But I'm not sure if that's gonna help me a lot. Instead, I probably want to nuke the Gryphon as much as I can. Because he's gonna get to me anyways, and I don't have that much range damage to deal with them from afar. So I think actually nuking here is the, what I'm gonna go with first, and if that doesn't go doesn't turn out well, then I'm going to try slow tactic. So burning ray it is. Because that should basically kill them in like two turns, with some help from the crossbowmen. Um, can we make a good attack with the eagles? Not really. So we're not gonna do anything just yet, just gonna wait. Okay, the birds should not reach me, the wolves, one, two, three, four, cannot reach me. Okay, that should be, we should be fine to wait. Okay, we should be able to tank here with with the um, Spirits of Light pretty easily. And then we can nuke down the Eagles or Griffins even more. It actually wasn't too much damage. Do they have protection from magic that I missed? Nope, not really. Well, they have a high resistance. Okay, so that wasn't probably like the best attack there. But now they'll take like a lot of a lot of damage. Uh, next turn, or I can actually kill them here. Okay. Okay, so they're immobilized and they'll probably die just from the from the damage ticks. Um. Okay, for a second there I thought the game the game broke. <laughs> Nothing was happening. <laughs> okay, um I would really like to know like how much health they have exactly. But I'm not sure the game can tell me that. Well. Yeah, like because well I guess and they're immobilized, right? So they cannot move anyways. So that should be fine. But 
but it doesn't tell me like how long this is gonna last, which is... <laughs> okay, yeah, I wish this game gave a bit more precise information, like this is really important to play, to play effic efficiently, right? <laughs> and plan out your tactics and stuff. Okay. Now, um, for the healers... I could just kill the griffins, but I really think they're just gonna die to the dot damage and they shouldn't be able to move anyways next turn. Um, the wolves moved already, so only the birds are gonna going to move. So we may as well just deal some damage to the wolves, honestly. One, two, three, four. So next turn, I'm probably just going to slow everybody down. Right, so the wolves take actually a long time to get to me. Then we can maybe immobilize those. Those should hopefully uh, attack the spirits of light. And same with the burrs. Um, so yeah, probably attacking here now is the, is the best thing I can do. I cannot wait to heal the flaming eagles later. So may as well do that. Alright. Um... We could attack with the burrs here. But I'm gonna take a lot of damage here and I'm not sure if this is worth it. At the same time, we could do this and then attack with the eagles. And then heal the bear next turn with the with the healers. That should hopefully work. And we weaken them, so they are gonna deal uh, less damage next turn. Right, they're gonna deal minimal damage, which is going to be huge since since they are getting like a lot of crit, obviously, right? Um, I think the eagles should be able to to go there, right? Because they they I think they are ignoring the um, engagement. And travel over enemy units ignores the control zone when moving. Yes, so they can actually do that easily. And they can do the damage for free there. Or we could actually deal a lot of damage there. And guarantee that the... No, we actually can't. Because we cannot land in, a, in such a way that will actually damage the, the eagles. There's not much we can do there, really. I think it's better to just heal some more damage to the, to the burst. Now that we soak the counter-attack. Okay, round two. So here I'm pretty sure I want to slow down the wolves so they don't actually attack my backline here. So now, where was Torpor? That's Earth and Ice. Okay. Ah, never mind. I forgot I cannot. I, I didn't. I couldn't upgrade the Torpor to level three just yet. Okay, that complicates things then. Um, hmm. so nevertheless, I probably still want to slow down those wolves here. Because this pack is um, smaller, there's only fold four there, and they're gonna attack the heavy crossbowmen, which should be able to survive. But those guys, they have like a lot of targets that they could go for, which is really bad for me, like healers. They could also go for the crossbowmen or for the bears. So I like how it says bears, but I only have one. <laughs> so I guess I've got to slow those guys. And what if I nuke them down? We'd only get like maybe one or two. So probably it's best to just slow them down here and make sure they don't reach my my backline. Okay. Right, so that's our spell for the turn, and now 